Good morning. Today, I've got a package to open up. Okay, you're probably wondering what's in this uh, little package here. Alright. This is the handlebar bag I ordered. It's going to be going on my 7 uh, road bike. I'm going to go ahead and set this up on here and uh, see what it looks like. So here is the Ruthworks rackless um, handlebar bag. So one of the nice things about this bag is it's a handlebar bag, so it's off the front of the bike, so you can easily, when you're riding, here you can just reach and grab what you need. If you have an extra jacket or something you wanna throw in there, you can do that. Um, it does have this little Velcro thing here, which Velcros onto there. So you don't need to use this, uh, but you can. It's also, because when you're riding, it's nice to just loop this around something like the stem. That way it stays closed, but I mean, the wind's gonna keep it closed anyway, but it, if you have something in there that's bouncing around, it won't, it won't uh, pop out through the top. Not that I've ever had that happen on anything before, but I guess on a real rough road, that could happen. And it just secures on with these really cool uh, buckles. Let me show you, they're very lightweight. Basically lift to release, that's it. They're, so they're really light and they're very, they're secure. Uh, that's how it locks in. You can cinch it down, just snap that on. It's made out of very lightweight material. The bottom here is secured to the bars. Uh, that's in case you have something in there that's heavy. And of course there's another strap back here. So this is a rackless handlebar bag. This strap goes around the front of the head tube and you can cinch it as tight as you want. There's these little side pockets also, these little sleeves. So you could slide something down in here if you need to. Maybe your cell phone can slide in there. Oh, and then inside, there's this little sleeve right in here. Right inside there's another little sleeve. I like to put my wallet in there uh, because I think on a ride, that's a good spot for it so it won't fall out when you're riding. I can show you what will fit in here. Let me go grab some stuff and we'll just see how much I can fit in here. You can fit a bunch of bananas in here. They don't go all the way down, but that gives you an idea and there's still a little room on the sides of what, what's possible on the volume, the carrying volume. Obviously, you might not carry this big these bananas, but um, if you did, that's about what will fit in there. So you could definitely put a jacket in there. You could roll up your, you know, your long sleeve. You could, what else? Carry a lot of food, basically, for a longer ride. If you're going to be out riding for a while, you want to carry your lunch. So, you know, with this down, it's not, you know, you're not going to have a big aero disadvantage. last little comments just to make on this the uh, one thing you'll keep in mind is this lower strap does rub on the inside of the head tube so if you have a bike with a special paint job or carbon fiber with a clear coat or something like that and you're concerned about the, the abrasion that might happen when you're steering that is something to think about these uh, quick release buckles are really nice they they allow you to quickly cinch the strap and lock it back in place and they stay they seem to hold pretty well it is self-supported it has sort of reinforcement inside there's some kind of hard plastic so it holds its shape as well as the front flap opening forward one thing i might do in the future i might actually cut these little side pieces off so that the front flap will go open all of the way that way if you're riding fast and you wanted to flip it open to put your camera in and out you would have that option. These little extra 
straps here are you may or may not need them they don't seem to be in the way of your hands although you do see you do sort of feel them when you're holding on to the, the drops when you're in the drops you sort of feel them but they don't seem to be in the way uh, but that's to help stabilize the bag a little bit better I did try to put this on my mountain bike but I wasn't able to secure the lower strap to the head tube it just the strap wasn't long enough to reach all the way around so I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this on a mountain bike or not. My stem is quite long, so that might be one of the factors to consider. I'm going to go ahead and see if this shirt's going to fit in here. This is a fairly thick, fairly thick uh, flannel shirt. So it fits really well, actually. Uh, there's still a little room in there as well. I have my wallet in here, yeah, so you could easily fit a fairly thick extra layer. And this is a heavy-duty um, large. This is a large-sized uh, flannel flannel shirt. If you need more capacity than this, they do make a saddlebag a bit larger saddlebag than your typical size saddlebags that could uh, be a that can help increase your capacity if you're doing a lot longer ride for the day or if you're going to do an overnight ride and you're going to stay at a hotel or something like that it's cool yeah i think it's kind of cool all right well that's it i'm gonna um i'll put a link in the description here for the company that makes these ruth works in san francisco handmade in san francisco california I like to support the, uh, the small independent shops whenever I can. Thanks for watching.